What would you do if your country was under attack? Imagine waking up one day to learn that hundreds of drones and missiles are hurtling towards your home. This isn't a scene from a dystopian novel, it's the harsh reality that Israel found itself in on a seemingly regular Saturday in April. In the midst of escalating tensions in the region, Iran launched an airborne attack against Israel. The attack, confirmed by both Israel's military spokesman and the White House, marked a significant escalation in the long-running conflict between the two countries. This wasn't a simple act of aggression, it was an extensive drone operation. Dozens of drones took to the skies, their deadly payloads aimed at Israel. The attack was a response to Israel's earlier strike on an Iranian consulate in Damascus, Syria at the beginning of April. The White House was quick to respond, reiterating its unwavering support for Israel's security. National Security Council spokesperson Adrian Watson confirmed that President Biden was being regularly updated on the situation. The president was not only in constant communication with Israeli officials, but also with U.S. partners and allies. As the hours unfolded, it became clear that this was not a fleeting incident. The attack was likely to continue for a number of hours, a grim reality that the citizens of Israel had to face. But Israel was not alone. Its military spokesman Daniel Hagari confirmed in a televised statement that they were working in close cooperation with the United States and regional partners to intercept the drones. To recap, Iran launched an extensive drone operation against Israel on a Saturday in April, marking a major escalation in the long-standing conflict between the two countries. This attack was a response to Israel's strike on an Iranian consulate earlier in the month. The White House confirmed the attack and expressed its unwavering support for Israel's security. As the situation continues to unfold, the world watches and waits. In a time of escalating tensions and conflict, it's a sobering reminder of the fragility of peace and the devastating consequences of war. Like and subscribe for more.